I've had this video on my list for a very long time. In fact, it's been on my list since everything at Dollar Tree was a dollar. <laughs> hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a good one. We are talking all about some really nice curly hair products from the Dollar Tree. Now, I feel a little bit bad because it has taken me a long time to make this video. I've had this one on my mind for years at this point, and now everything at the Dollar Tree is no longer $1, is $1.25. It is what it is. Why don't y'all go ahead and come with me to the Dollar Tree and see what we can find. Welcome to my local Dollar Tree. I will be looking for four products, a shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner, and styler. Let's start off with the shampoo. After looking at nearly every single shampoo bottle, I stumbled across this one. This one appears to be 100% curly hair friendly using C14, C16 olefin sulfonate as the surfactant. Now, for conditioner, I'm grabbing this cult favorite. It, however, appears to have a drying alcohol in it, which I was very confused by because none of the other VO5s had a drying alcohol. All the leave-in conditioners contain dimethicone, so I'll be grabbing this hair mousse as my leave-in conditioner because it contains a fatty alcohol, which can be nourishing and moisturizing. It took me a minute to find the gel I wanted, but I finally found it buried underneath the shelf. Now, let's get to washing this very greasy day three hair. My hair is some kind of special today. Don't ever yank out your hair tie, bad Courtney. My hair is basically stiff with product at this moment and slightly dull. So I'm getting my hair thoroughly, thoroughly saturated with water, super soaking wet so that this shampoo will have its best chance to clean my hair. I am excited for this product. It is absolutely beautiful packaging and look at the texture and consistency of this product. I really, really thought that this felt like a high-end product. I was a little bit stunned, shocked, and floored. Just spreading that over my scalp, focusing the shampooing on the roots because I am very oily greasy and I'm going to use the pads of my fingers to really scrub my scalp and I will gently pull the lather through my hair to cleanse the lengths of my hair. Now I'm just rinsing that out thoroughly and using the pads of my fingers to continue to scrub my scalp as I rinse. Now it's time for the VO5 Strawberries and Cream Moisturizing Conditioner. This is a cult favorite. Like we're talking old school curly girl forums talked about using this product, which is why I was a little surprised to see straight alcohol on the ingredients label. And I looked at all the other VO5 conditioners and didn't see that on there. I'm a little confused. I'm not sure, but I grabbed it anyway because of old school curly girl forums. Work that in with my fingers, detangling with my fingers first before I finish distributing it through my hair with my perfect hair care brush. Now I wanna show you this. See how it got kind of foamy and sudsy and lathery? Some conditioners do this and it makes them really good for co-washing. So if you really wanted to, you could skip the shampoo and just use this conditioner as your co-wash and conditioner. Your cleansing step, and your conditioning step combined save you about 25 and skip the Argon shampoo. Now I added a little bit of water to my hair and I'm doing a very thorough squish to condish. This will boost any of your conditioner's moisturizing power, no matter where you buy it from. Now I'm just scrubbing my scalp as I rinse the product out. I wanna make sure that there's nothing left behind before I go in with my leave-in conditioner. Just kidding, my hair mousse. I was a little scared. Most of my hair mousses attack me. This one, on the other hand, did not attack me and I was able to extract a reasonable amount of product from the package instead of grabbing a basketball sized amount. The formula was very creamy and smelled absolutely wonderful. I will be applying this like I would any leave-in conditioning product or curl cream. Most of the time, I don't comb mousse through my hair with my fingers, I do that with my leave-in conditioner. And I'm using this product as my clumping agent for my swing curl. 
curl clump method. If you want more info on what I'm talking about, I'll have that video link in the eye. Now I'm just brushing that through with my brush again. I don't normally do this with a mousse, but we're pretending this is my leave-in conditioning step. I am just forming my curl clumps, pulling the hair off the sides of my face and off the back of my head. It looks like it's pulling really bad, but this mousse actually had really good slip. I was very impressed with it. Now I'm just gonna repeat on the other side and have my curl clumps formed, sort of, starting to form my curl clumps. Now I'm going to add a little bit of water to my hair. You can do this in the shower or in the tub because I'm washing my hair over the tub. And I will do a nice squish to condish again. This is a technique where you're not rinsing out the product, but you're adding a lot of water to your hair and squishing and pulsing. This maximizes penetration and distribution of your conditioning products. Okay. Now that I've got that nice and scrunched in, it's time to go in with my gel. Again, this is a cult classic and tons of people adore this product. Looking back at the footage, I did not grab very much gel. I thought I grabbed more than that. I will discuss this more later on in the video. You can see that the gel easily emulsifies in my hands. I did not have to fight with it too much to get it to thin out so that I could glaze it over and rope it into my curl clumps. I do not comb or brush my gels into my hair. As a general rule, that's not what I normally do. Glaze, rope, and scrunch. I am not scrunching my hair terribly hard, just enough to kind of squish the gel into each curl clump. Now I'm making sure to reach all the way around in the back of my head and scrunch all the way around in the back. If you really struggle with definition in the back of your head, make sure you're scrunching the back of your head. This is what the curl clumps are looking like after I've done applying product. There's a little more wet frizz than I would normally see. I am chalking that up to not using a true leave-in conditioner, but overall I'm pretty impressed. Hey there guys. Story of my life lately seems to be that I am running late. So we are going to take a look at the hair real quick and then I will be back later to talk to you some more about my thoughts that I don't have time for my full thoughts right now. Yes, my AirPods are still in. No, I'm not listening to anything. The hair is 100% dry. Wow, my hair feels so soft and silky. That's nice. There was no cast to speak of. I did diffuse my hair to 90% dry and then I let it finish air drying as I wandered around my house. Now I'm just giving it a really good fluff to open up the waves and curls a bit. Because even if there's not a cast, a good root fluff never hurt anyone. Well, that may not be true, but my hair really likes a good fluff. All right, here are the fresh wash day results. Wow, my hair feels good. Like really silky and soft. Okay, I'll be back later to talk some more. All right, bye. Two hours later. All right, I'm back. Hello. <laughs> This is what the hair is looking like after I have worn it for a little while. It's holding up okay. I have been having a problem lately judging the amount of gel and stylers that my hair needs. And I think that is due in part to I have stopped measuring my stylers. I used to be very meticulous about the amount of gel I would put in my hair. I would literally measure the tablespoons. I've stopped doing that. I've started eyeballing it and I don't think I grabbed enough gel for my hair today. However, my hair is still feeling absolutely amazing. I am stunned. Look at that, look at that. Don't do this at home, kids. You're, you'll wreck your curl pattern. It will disrupt your curl clumps, but my hair has crazy slip right now. It is so not tangly and it does not feel producty at all. It's, let me see, let me see. Yep, it is very lightweight feeling. 
my hair's been feeling very heavy and a little tangly and weird lately. And this doesn't feel that way at all. My only knock is I'm not loving the hold that I'm getting. We're kind of getting stretched out. To be fair, I just combed my fingers through all of that. So that tends to pull things straighter. <laughs> but what I am impressed by is the cleaning power of that shampoo. That was very impressive. The slip that the conditioner had, how well that mousse worked as a leave-in conditioner and how affordable that gel is. Honestly, I'm not super, super in love with that gel, but it is nice that it is 100% curly hair friendly for $1.25. There are some things I could do to get more hold out of the stylers and that would be to double apply them. So apply them on soaking wet hair and then grab some more gel and scrunch it into my hair after I have plopped. That double application can really boost the hold in a product, but really I am super happy with this wash day for the affordability. And I'm real big on how my hair feels. If it feels bad, like super gritty and producty and tangly, I am wildly unhappy. These products from the Dollar Tree feel so good in my hair. My hair feels very balanced right now, very silky, very soft, super good. So. I'm kind of excited. So let me know in the comments down below, have you been to Dollar Tree and have you found some curly hair friendly hidden gems from the Dollar Tree? You can't always find the exact same products in every Dollar Tree everywhere. It is kind of a roll of the dice a little bit. Have you found some really awesome products tucked away in there? Let us know in the comments down below. Perhaps you have had better luck at finding a leave-in conditioner because I did not have luck doing that, but I think I got away with it. <laughs> I didn't, I don't think I needed it. That mousse worked really well. All right, guys, I sure hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, hook me up with a thumbs up. Let me know that this was helpful by liking the video. If you want to hang out some more for some more wavy curly hair stuff, feel free to subscribe and click that notification bell because I want to I want to hang out with you again. This was fun. Let's do this again sometime. As always, I hope you are having an absolutely fantastic day and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.